I tested some of the most viral Google SEO hacks on TikTok to see if more views means better SEO tips. Starting with this one with just over 2,000 views. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to move from page two to page one of Google. Once Ahrefs has crawled your site, you're gonna select internal link opportunities. Then you're gonna type in whichever keyword you currently rank on page two and wanna get to page one for. All you have to do now is go to that page, build an internal link to the page you wanna rank using that exact anchor text that Ahrefs identified. And in a couple days, you'll be on page one. Easy. I ran an SEO audit with my free HS Webmaster Tools account and found some great internal link opportunities for our guide to Core Web Vitals. I added the internal links as instructed, so all there was left to do was watch our page rise to the first page of Google. And 48 hours later, nothing happened. But let's give it some more time. And while we're waiting, let's move on to the next TikTok with around 15,000 views. Here's a quick hack that I use to drive over a million visitors to my blog each month. So once you log into Google Search Console, compare your current traffic over the last year. So you'll see the pages that have declined the most in traffic. Those are the pages that I want you to go and update. Let's do it. So I went to the performance report in Search Console, set the comparison to year over year traffic, went to the pages tab, and sorted the table by clicks difference. And I couldn't believe it. We lost like 20,000 clicks to this page. Got a message SQ for an update. Yo, can you update the top Google searches post? Need to prove an SEO tip on TikTok is legit. And seconds later, I knew we were on the same page. We updated the post using the exact same method in my speed ranking video. And in less than 24 hours, we jumped from position 16 to five and then to four with only Google outranking us. But the crazier thing is that our traffic kept climbing. And within a couple weeks, we had more than doubled our organic traffic, reaching over 20,000 monthly visits from Google. This tip is verified legit. But the same couldn't be said for the next TikTok with a whopping 37,000 views. How can you trick Google to ranking your AI content? Wait, why do we need to trick Google into ranking AI content? Tell me in the comments if I'm missing something here. Here's how I got ChatGPT to make some content. I put it into a content detection tool and the result came up was looking like 97% fake content written by AI. That's no good. So on your suggestion, I put it through a tool called Quillbot, which is a paraphrasing tool and it came up with some new content. I put this through the AI content detector. Suddenly it was coming up at 10% AI content. So it was basically looking like it was being written by a human. All right, so basically this tip is to create a bunch of copycat content in ChatGPT, then to reword the content that's kind of already been reworded to pass some random test that makes legit no sense. And I'm all for experimentation, but there's just no way that I'm gonna do this. I mean, the person in the comments says that the paraphrased results were awful, to which the person who made the TikTok says, mine was too, lol. What? This tip is verified le junk. It's not even SEO. I realized that tens of thousands of people had been clickbaited and fed information that even the creator said was bad advice. So in an attempt to skip over more low quality content, we skipped five levels all the way up to a TikTok with over 150,000 views. This is my step-by-step -step method to find easy win keywords with Reddit and Hrefs. Did she just say Reddit? I'm gonna let her finish. Reddit is full of user-generated content, which means search engines can't guarantee that the content is helpful or answers the search query. So if you find a Reddit thread ranking number one on Google, chances are a well-written blog post is gonna outrank it super quickly. Here's how you find those Reddit threads. Go to Reddit and find a subreddit related to your industry. Then you need to copy the subreddit's URL and paste it into Ahrefs Site Explorer. Then click on the organic keywords report and sort by position. These four are ranking in the top spot on Google. So these are the first ones I would target. Okay, so this TikTok was published in April, 2023. And I think it was generally decent advice for like well over a decade. But then some big changes happened to Google search results a couple months after she posted this video. Every Google update gave Reddit a huge boost in organic traffic. And now Reddit ranks in the top 10 for like pretty much everything. So will this work given Reddit's favoritism in the SERPs today? Let's find out.
So I went to the marketing subreddit, copied and pasted it into Ahrefs Site Explorer, stopped to admire the vertical lift in organic traffic, and then went to the organic keywords report. And I found this keyword in the top spot, is marketing a good major? All right, so I'm gonna write a blog post and post it on this DR49 site where I've actually used this exact tactic many years ago with success. I spent the next couple of hours writing a post that I think is better than the top results. I mean, I even said howdy in the intro, and I'm not from Texas. That's just straight up courage. And in the end, I had a post I was pretty happy with. I actually have no idea what's gonna happen given the current state of Google search results, but let's give it a month or so and see what happens. And with a snap of a finger, a month had passed by, and it was time to see how this 150,000 view tactic performed. All right, so the post was published on December 21st, 2023, and it jumped from no man's land to position 24 on the 2nd of January. And now about a month later, our post was pretty much in the same place at position 21. Because it can take six to 12 months for a new page to rank in the top 10 of Google, I didn't want to make any conclusions at this point, but I'll definitely be watching this page's rankings over the next several months, so subscribe to our channel for updates. In fact, subscribing to our channel may be sounder advice than this 200,000 view TikTok. Here's how to increase your SEO with ChatGPT. First, you need to tell the AI who to think like. Pretend you're an expert SEO marketer. The AI stays up to date with various updates and changes to the Google algorithm. No, it doesn't. Tell the AI what your goal is. My goal is to rank number one on Google when people search best AI tools for marketing. Tell me what the best ways to achieve my goals are, rank them in order of importance. Then ask it to identify and list specific keywords and phrases related to best AI tools for marketing in order of importance. For this example, let's say that your keyword is AI marketing software. Now you can ask it to either write a listicle of the following topic, seven reasons why marketing agencies should be using AI marketing software, or write a five minute article about why marketing agencies should be using AI marketing software. Just make sure that the keyword is in the ask. All right, so I have no clue what happened in like the first two thirds of this video because it seems like we ignored everything that ChatGPT had to say and then we switch topics. And as tempted as I am to junk this one, I feel like it's a cop-out for not doing the work. So yes, I will write a post with these ChatGPT prompts. But I didn't have a topic to write about, so it only made sense to use this tip for our 1.5 million views TikTok. But first, let's check out this 305,000 view video, which I promise will give sound advice. Well, mostly. How to get your website ranked on Google really fast. First thing you're gonna do is get your content up on your website. Wherever that is, you need to get it on there and completely ready for SEO. So we're gonna head over to Google Search Console. Click on URL inspection, and you're gonna punch in your URL here at the top that you want to rank for. Simply click this request indexing link, and you're good to go. Okay, so one point for clarity, even though the title shows how to get your website ranked on Google, this video is actually about getting your pages indexed faster in Google, which are very different things. Just had to say it. So I took one of our newly published blog posts, pasted the URL in Google Search Console, and hit the request for indexing button. And within a few hours, I could see our URL in Google, making this tip legit. In fact, the 300,000 view TikTok is a tip that I repeatedly use for our 1.5 million views video. All right, I'm pumped for this one. Small business owner, this is for you. If you're trying to get your business on the first page of Google and you feel really overwhelmed with SEO, this is what you're gonna wanna do. First up, whatever you sell, let's say it's dried flowers, go to answerthepublic.com and type in dried flowers. Answer the public's then gonna throw you a load of questions. Take a question, go and create a new incognito window in Google Chrome and type that question in. Look at the first three articles and what they are talking about, and then recreate that article for yourself. Do that over and over and over again until you've answered all the questions and you'll forget about all of the other things that SEOs tell you that you need. Content and intent of that content is the only thing you need to get ranking. That's a lot of work, but it's gotta be done. So off to work I went, and I was convinced that of the 1.5 million people that watched this TikTok, I was probably the only person crazy enough to do exactly what she said. 
Is content and intent truly the only thing we need to rank? Can we really ignore other SEO best practices like site structure, link building, search demand driven keyword research, and internal linking? All right, so I've written three posts so far and I completely forgot that we still need to try that tip where we make ChatGPT the SEO expert from our 200,000 view TikTok. So I'm gonna do that for one of my posts and we're gonna compare the results later. I slapped on my headphones, upgraded to GPT-4, and blasted some good tunes to get in the zone. I told ChatGPT to be an expert SEO marketer, to which I got a thousand words of SEO info that I'll definitely ignore. Then I said that my goal is to rank number one on Google when people search best putters, a topic completely different from what I'm actually trying to rank for. I ignored the response again and asked it to tell me the best way to achieve my goals ranked in order of importance. I asked it to identify and list the specific keywords and phrases related to the topic best putters in order of importance. And armed with this information, I pivoted and changed the topic by asking for a five minute guide on when putters were invented. All right, so this is what the article looks like. We've got an intro, but the body of the content is basically bullet points. And I love how our ChatGPT SEO expert ends the post in the most literal way possible. Despite the post being far from where I'd like it to be, I published it anyway. And while people were ringing in the new year, I was hammering away at my keyboard to finish the last six blog posts using the instructions from our 1.5 million view TikToker. Alrighty, so today is January 4th and I've submitted all URLs for my putting site to Search Console, like we learned before. And now we just have to wait and see and let Google decide if the most viewed SEO tip on TikTok actually works. Within a few hours, we saw life. Three of our posts were already ranking in the top 100, albeit not high enough to get any clicks. So like an obsessive maniac, I checked the rankings every single day, hoping that the 1.5 million people that had watched this video had been fed sound SEO advice. My emotions were riding the coattails of my Google ranking positions. And then it finally happened. Okay, so some crazy news. We got our first top 10 ranking on this brand new website, kind of. If we ignore the people also ask box, this page on our brand new site is technically in organic position 10. And I know it's not that crazy, but what surprised me the most is that the only page that's ranking in the top 10 is the one generated using the ChatGPT SEO expert tip. Still, don't do it. I was elated. Nearly all our keywords were ranking in Google, but then I logged into Google Search Console. So it turns out no one's really searching for these topics. I mean, I have 10 posts that in total have only generated around 600 impressions, and therefore, no one's really clicking either. You see, the problem isn't that these SEO tips on TikTok are all bad. The problem happens when we look at SEO in a vacuum. For instance, our 150,000 view TikToker showed us a great keyword research method to find low competition keywords. The 1.5 million view TikToker emphasized the importance of matching intent with your content. The 300,000 view TikToker showed us how to get those pages indexed quickly. And even our 2,000 view TikToker had a great tip on finding internal link opportunities. If you wanna get real tangible results from SEO, you need to look at things holistically. And our free SEO course right here on YouTube will show you how to do that to get consistent traffic from Google. I'll see you there.